The following original film was made in 1949 and distributed to American schools as part of home economics courses that centered around conjugal family roles being taught at the time. This was at a time in history when many now controversial stereotypes and social norms were in place, taught, and promoted. These acceptable social norms included patriarchy, misogyny, homophobia, bigotry, racial segregation, sexual inequality, and racial inequality. Though times have gotten better in this respect, many of these norms remain a struggle today. By way of comparison, this republished version is intended to be an artistic and informative reminder of such times and absurdities. In my humble opinion, love, M.A. because I was raised that a man would take care of me, an American housewife. Snakes and snails and puppy dog tails, that's what little boys were made of. Sugar and spice and everything nice, that's what little girls were made of. Again. Off for another day at Crystal Lake. They're always having good times together. Wish my family were like that. We never do anything. Never have the time. Neither do we. You know, so many people are asking how the Millers manage to have so much fun as a family. What's the answer? Is it money? Or is it magic? Neither. It's something they worked out together when they woke up to the fact that they wanted their family life to be fun. Who doesn't? But how did they work it out? To understand, let's go back several months. Eavesdrop on the Millers one Friday evening before they got wise to themselves. Mother! You promised to have dinner ready at 6 o'clock. I'm sorry, Catherine. I just didn't finish my other work in time. Oh, well. Dad's not home yet anyway. Nobody seems to care that I have a date at 7 o'clock. You can still make it, dear. I'll do the dishes alone. But you and Dad are going to the movies. I'm too tired. I did all the washing today, and I cleaned your room, too. It really needs... I meant to come home and clean it, Mother. But after school, there was a meeting... Mother! Her. I can't wear these slacks tonight. You said you'd press them. I know, Harold, but I just didn't... Why don't you press them yourself? Say, where's my racket? In my closet. I... I broke it. I meant to tell you. You broke it? And me with an important match tomorrow. Why don't you get it fixed? Where would I get the money? Money? Mother, I need a couple of dollars to take Mary out tonight. I haven't any money, Harold. But you might have when he comes home. Fine thing. Dinner late, tennis racket broken, no money for date, and no pants to wear. If this thing were a business, we go bankrupt, but fast. That night, Mrs. Miller was thinking about what Harold said. If this family were a business, in a way, we are a business. We have money to handle, just as a business has. Yet we never make it last from one payday to the next. But that's not all we can't seem to manage. Isn't there a better way to manage ourselves? Wouldn't we all be happier if we worked out a little system for living together in harmony? It's worth a try. I call this first meeting of the Miller family 
to propose that we try to establish a definite program for managing our home so that we'll all get more out of it. More fun, more leisure, and more harmony. I'm certainly in favor of those things. Harmony, leisure, fun. Who isn't? But how can we manage them? We'll have to work out the full answer together. But for a start, I've made a list of points that will guide us. One, schedule. Two, responsibilities. Three, privileges. And four, finances. Sounds impressive. What do they mean? How do they work? Well, remember last Friday evening? It was nothing special. We've had plenty of differences just like it. I caused a good part of the trouble by not having dinner on time. We need to make a definite schedule and stick to it so we can all make plans accordingly. I can be more careful about coming home in time for dinner or phoning when I'm going to be late. Yes, but then I didn't have dinner ready, so I... Because you took time to clean my room. That's something I should have done. Well, that's my set point. Uh, privileges. Well, responsibilities and privileges always go together. If we accept responsibilities, then we acquire certain privileges. Such as? Well, such as... I can think of one. The privilege of having your private rights respected. Such as having someone ask your permission when she wants to borrow your tennis racket. That's a general idea. Now, my fourth point is finances. Yes, where are we going to get more money? We don't. You mean a budget? Well, if we were a business, wouldn't we have a plan for spending our money? That does it. Well, I'd like to suggest that we adjourn for now and all give this some serious thought, and then get together for another meeting next Monday after dinner to discuss a plan for spending and, and all these other matters. Good idea. I'd like to have these family meetings every week. After we've worked this out, later on we can check up on how we're doing. Well... It looks as though I really started something. Say, Mom, you're swell. That's how the Millers came to manage their home, so it would be more fun. Does it really work? These guides to home management, can my family use them? Well, let me give you a few clues. Take the matter of schedule. Here's a breakfast scene at the Millers. Quiet, easy. By following a practical morning schedule, they're already in time for school and work. And in the evening, mother has plenty of pep left to entertain friends. Because by scheduling the work she does each day, she saves herself from doing too much. And when seasonal jobs are scheduled, Harold is glad to help his father. It doesn't happen that he has other important plans for the day. Of course, this is also a matter of responsibilities, which are divided up according to individual abilities and interests. Besides doing assigned jobs and caring for his own clothes and belongings, each is responsible for being considerate of the others. For instance, putting things back where others expect to find them. With responsibilities go privileges. Although the strength of the family lies in unity, each member has individual rights. The right to open his own mail. The right of privacy. To work alone, undisturbed by loud noises in the house or by unwanted visitors. And the right to have opinions respected. This privilege, the Millers protect in their family council meetings. Let's listen now for a few pointers on the fourth guide to home management finances. As you know, our financial position has greatly improved during the six months we've been planning our spending instead of letting our money slip away from us. However, during the past two months, what with mother's operation and Catherine's dental work, our medical expenses have been very heavy, more than our budget could provide for. So the question is, where is the money going to come from? Well, we could take our vacation money. Oh, no! That's a big thing we've been saving for. Well, can't we find the money in some other account? No, not that much money. Maybe a little bit here and a little bit there. 
Well, I, I, I don't know. Look, that new electric mixer we'd figured on buying, I can do without that. No, Mother. You've been wanting that for so long. Wait a minute. If Mother can do without her mixer, I'll skip my new dress. That is, if Mother will help me make over the one Aunt Grace gave me. Of course I will, dear. Well, if that's the way, I guess we can patch up the old seat covers in the car, put off getting new ones until next spring. Sure thing. And if I can get a little help with my jobs around here, I'll be able to clear time to pick up some extra money working after school. The trick lies not in having the most math. That's how the Millers are using good home management to achieve a happier family life. Now, do you think they're successful? Looks good to me. To help make your home a well-managed home.